So Pat, our old signal box was defunct and needed replacing. What have you done? Well, as you said, as you just said, the the signal box at Measured and Form Up Station, the original one, is nearly 40 years old and it was life expired. Mm -hmm. So as a temporary feature, we've decided to change it to a electrical interlocking mm -hmm. uh, with switches to replace the levers, so direct replacement. Behind us is the interlocking and you can see some of the relays and wiring that, that are in place to enable the signalling to work at Medstead. Not only that, we've upgraded some of the outside, so all the points have been refitted and all the, uh, with new point machines to enable the easier job for the signalman. Also the semaphore signals and the shunt signals have all been converted to motor or hydraulic operation to make it a lot easier for everybody and to enable us to uh, eventually go back in the uh, signal box at a later date. And Pat, there's a massive amount of wiring here. Yeah. T how do you know what's going where? How does it all work? Well, thanks to one of my volunteers, or in fact more than one of my volunteers, at least three to four volunteers, the signalling design has to be produced to mm -hmm. enable where to, to wire it and to uh, enable the installation of the interlocking. So in front of you, uh, you'll see around about 7,000 metres of wire in the relay room alone here, along with around about 250 relays, all installed and all uh, designed by our volunteers on the railway. And that therefore creates the uh, relay RRI, route relay interlocking uh, in front of you that you can see. And this technology that we've installed here, that's gone from completely mechanical yeah. in the old box. Mm -hmm. What would this look like in modern network rail? It's still installed on network rail, Is it? widely. The technology, really though, the, the, though the relay styles are technology from the 1960s, yeah. the principle of the, of, of the actual interlocking, r relays and wiring, it dates back as far ago as the 1930s. Yeah. So it's not modern, but it's still being installed on network rail and, and it's still being installed around the world. So it, it's really robust, you know, yes, because it's it, been around it, for, it, it, for that yeah, long. It's been around yeah. for a very long time. Yeah. And it's still easier to build in some instances than the computer-based interlockings. And so, Pat, we pride ourselves on our lovely 1940s station. What will the public see different outside? Nothing. Nothing at all. The signals will look exactly the same. The signal box is still there. Uh, the, most people don't really see the rod run that drives the mm. points. So, the, as per some of the other railways, other heritage railways, yeah. um, the new point machines make for a more efficient use of the points, yeah. and the public don't really see those at yeah. all. Yeah. So, to the to the public, they will still see the same signals. Yeah, brilliant. Externally, um, and then what's the benefit to the Watercrest line? The benefit to the Watercrest line is it's easier to operate for the operations department than the mechanical signalling. While the mechanical signalling is perfectly safe, mm. and this has a higher safety integrity mm. level than the mechanical because of the fact that we have added other safeguards and other safety items into signalling the layout of four marks. Brilliant. And what's going to happen to the old box? The old box will stay for now. Um, the plan is probably to have it as a little museum at the moment oh, great. until we get back in it. Well, what an amazing project, Pat. What Thank an you. incredible achievement. And all three volunteers as well. Yes. I mean, yourself um, and all of the team are all giving their time. We've had a massive amount of support from some of the technical um, organisations. So it's a huge thank you to you and all of them. So we, we you know, well, thank you very much indeed. I'll, pa I'll pass that on to the, yeah. all the volunteer team and our contractors that have helped us out, including uh, people using their voluntary mm. leave off of Network Rail as mm. well to help us out, and, uh, and Volker Rail and uh, Coles Rail and uh, a couple of other people as well all coming mm. on their own time and, uh, and helping us out to, to have a successful commission. Yeah, fantastic achievement, yeah. well done. Thank you very much indeed on behalf of everybody. Thank you. Thank you.